What up boys and welcome back to another gold farming video. So in today's video we have another solo steady gold farm because that is like the number one response on my uh, 0 to 10 million gold ebook. That's the love of the uh, all the solo farms that's in it. So it's something that I've been uh, focusing on ever since and if you haven't bought the ebook you can get it in the uh, link down below. And this part was actually suggested by a viewer of mine, the Great Dane. And they were like discussing on my Discord like of a primal water farm because they couldn't seem to find any primal water farm from me. And I do have a video on a primal water farm in Shadowmoon Valley. Like up with this, uh, like right here actually, and the water is right here. But it's a group farm, and it gives you like 70 to 80 primal water an hour in a group. So the Great Dane, he went out, probably killed as many elementals as he could, and figured out that you can solo Hala, like just by running around it, and you can get up towards 50 primal water an hour. And on his realm, primal water is 550 gold each, so he's making like easily 25,000 gold an hour doing it. The market value though, however, I got 49 in an hour, so that's 13,000 gold plus 2,000 gold in essence of water, so 15,000 gold market value on it. And the price of my realm, playing on one of the fullest populated EU realms, is kind of bad. Like, I would only get like roughly 10,000 gold an hour doing this. That's not counting any potential uh, transmog or anything, so... The farm is really good, like, you gotta check the price on the primals on your realm though, but there's a very big possibility that you could make a lot of gold on it. And these guys, they hyper spawn like crazy, so you just, as I said, run in the circle around Hala and kill these water elementals. Class doesn't really matter, but I find it really nice to do it on my druid because you got an instance flight form, uh, but if you have like... A uh, hunter, a monk, a rogue, anything with leech and legendaries that turns you into the whisper, anything that's gonna work as well between the kills. But uh, yeah, just run in a circle around and around, kill all the uh, what do you call muck spawns. Obviously, you want to loot the muck spawns. I just got four, nice. And you will never run out of mobs. Like the hyper spawn, like crazy, as I said. And when you get to the uh, the area with the best density, uh, which I will show you guys in a minute. Like, sometimes they spawn so fast that there's, like, mobs that you just killed are respawning. Because the forced respawn is kicking in. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And that is this area right here up north. Like, this place right here. Like, many times when I was doing laps, I was just killing these guys. And when I was about to leave the area, I had, like, mobs respawning behind me. So, I had to go back and kill them again. So, definitely a steady uh, solo gold farm. Now you should try out, however, if you search up the Primal Mon on your realm and they're going to be like 90 gold each, you shouldn't do it. You should rather buy them and hold them till uh, Shadowlands if you have that opportunity. I understand that if you're saving up for a long boy before uh, it gets removed, you probably don't want to invest into anything. But uh, otherwise, do it. And there we go. We have a spawn already. So, super good spawn. Uh, great thing. Great suggestion on the farm spot. And um, that's pretty much it for today's video so as i said if you still haven't got my uh my book zero to 10 million link in description thank you everybody for watching and i will see all of you guys for another video already tomorrow until then have a good one bye bye